Hello and welcome. This is a video on the a geometric interpretation of a system of two ODEs. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the phase plane. Um, and uh, what I'll do is I'll switch over into um, Desmos here, where I've made this little Desmos gizmo. So uh, what you can see is a phase plane for a system of equations. Um, what I'm representing here is just the vector field uh, associated with those equations. So at every point, the arrow indicates the velocity or the, um, the x prime, y prime vector in the plane given an x, y position. And so at one of these points here, let's say, um, the direction of the arrow indicates how x and y are changing. So x is the horizontal component and y is the vertical component. So one thing that you might see if you're looking at this, you might identify that the steady state, which is where the vector is zero right here at the origin, has arrows surrounding it that make it seem like this is going to be a saddle steady state. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gradually change the size of the arrows to make that clear. And we're going to look for features. So I want you to keep an eye out for features of this system that are sort of remarkable or interesting directions. And hopefully by now you're starting to see that there's two special directions. One is really obvious. This one along here is quite obvious and it's characterized by the fact that the velocity vector is pointing directly towards the origin. What that means is that the position vector is parallel but in the opposite direction to the velocity vector. And that's actually what a uh, eigenvector is because in our system we have the velocity vector is defined by matrix A multiplied by the position vector X. So in this case we have AX gives us a vector that is parallel to x, in other words, lambda times x. And so there's another direction that's a little harder to see just because the grid of arrows is not quite so nicely aligned, but along here, there's another direction. And you'll notice there's a difference between these two. In the first case, the arrow is pointed in towards the origin. That indicates that the position vector is in this direction. The velocity is opposite. That means the eigenvalue is negative. In the other case, across here, um, we have an example of a positive eigenvector, uh, yeah, a positive eigenvalue associated with this eigenvector. And what that means is that the velocity points in the same direction as the position, which means you have outward uh, vectors. All right, so let's just shrink those back down. Whoops, that's not it. Let's shrink those back down so they don't crowd the play plane too much. This is, this is the one I'm, I'm really interested in. Uh, this phase plane. Those are different phase planes. I changed the velocity of the of the um, of the solutions by changing that p-value. So let's now fill in those eigenvectors, and you can see here they are. The purple one is the one with positive eigenvalue, and the green one is the one with negative eigenvalue. And now suppose we throw in uh, a couple initial conditions just to see what solutions look like. So here's two initial conditions. That's the black dots. And you can see the solutions that um, go through those initial conditions. Going backward in time, we'd run off the page this way. And going forward in time, we come closer to the steady state, but then veer away from it. And that's why it has what we call it the saddle structure. And the same thing down here with this steady state. Forward in time, it runs off the page in the same direction. And backward in time, it runs out this way, back up those um, um, arrows along the negative eigenvalue eigenvector direction. Okay, so how do we understand the, 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 um, the geometry of those two solutions in terms of the eigenvalues? It, it seems suggestive that they're following the eigenvectors somehow. So let's, um, let's decompose them into components. So what you see here in dotted orange is a projection of the orange vector, which is the position vector of the initial condition, onto the purple eigenvector direction. And in the other direction here, the other dotted orange, that is the projection of the orange position vector of the initial condition at this black dot projected onto the green eigen direction. And so we can write this initial condition as a sum of a vector parallel to the purple and then add to that a vector parallel to the green. 
So that's initially. Now what happens, those initial components are going to be multiplied by an exponential term. In one case, the green direction, it's going to shrink with time. And in the other case, the purple direction, it's going to grow with time. So what I'll do now is I will um, play time forward and you'll see what happens. Watch the green component will be shrinking and the purple component will be growing. And it's going to cycle around. It's going to run off the page and come back on. So let's just watch and see how it maps out that saddle-like structure around the eigenvectors. So here you have it coming in along the green because the green is decaying exponentially at the same time as purple is growing exponentially, which starts off slowly but then accelerates and it runs off. Now if the projection in the purple direction were zero, then that orange dot would be right on the green direction and it would come straight in. And that's one special direction that a saddle has where the solutions come in from either side and actually make it to the steady state. But otherwise they run off in opposite directions. Okay, so that is my geometric um, interpretation of some of the solutions that uh, we get out of an ODE system. And this is the case where you have an eigenvector that's one eigenvector that has a positive eigenvalue and another one that has a negative eigenvalue.